gray hairs, man. It's a thing that happens. What's up, beautiful? How you doing? So today we're talking about a little bit of a stressful subject for some people. Gray hair. It's inevitable for a lot of us that it's going to happen. <sighs> Aging is a real thing. I realized that recently when I just had my 25th birthday that I am aging and I'm having a quarter life crisis. If I even live that long, gray hairs are probably in my future soon, but Listen, there are a lot of myths out there. There are a lot of facts out there about gray hair and we're gonna go over them all today. We're gonna learn all about gray hair, find out why gray hair happens, debunk all of the myths you've ever heard about gray hair, and then we'll move on to ways you can treat gray hair or not treat gray hair. Let's go over that all today and let's just get into things. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh my God, what is this? That's so weird. How did these end up here? Oh my God, I might as well talk about them. Well, I can. Here are my two new X Mono products. If you don't know what X Mono is, it's my hair care brand and I'm obsessed. Um, obviously I created these myself. One is called Prismatic Glow. It is a hydrating mask. And the other one is called Electric Rain and it is a moisture cream. These are two products perfect for winter. And that is why I am coming out with them on November 22nd. I'm so excited about these. You can read all about them, what they do, and the ingredients, and everything, the scent, whatever you need to know, the price, it'll all be available on my website, xmonohair.com today. You can click the link below and learn all about these products and see if you wanna purchase them. So I'm so excited and you guys are going to absolutely love these. They are magical. It is perfect for somebody with hair like me. It is perfect for somebody who has colored their hair. It is perfect for somebody who doesn't color their hair. Honestly, obsessed and essential for the winter time. And look at the packaging. Are you joking with this? I did create that. <laughs> I'm very proud of my products and I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on them. Yay! And add it to your X Mondo collection that I know a lot of you already have. Yay! Let's get into gray hair. Why don't we start with the basics? What is gray hair? Is it actually gray? A lot of people think that literally your hair turns gray. There's no such thing as gray hair. I hate to break it to you. It actually is just a loss of pigment in the hair follicle. So as you get older, you lose pigment in your hair. The cells in the follicle actually die off, therefore leaving your hair strand with no pigment left. Therefore, it is basically a see-through strand of hair. So when clear hair strands are layered on top of your scalp or on top of darker hair that is not yet turned gray, it appears to be gray because of the darker surfaces reflecting through the hair fiber. That is why it appears to be gray, but if you really hold a strand out, look under a microscope, it is just a clear piece of hair. Kind of cool that you can have clear hair. Like we should start calling it clear hair instead of gray hair, because I just feel like that's cuter that way. Like kind of trendy, you know what I mean? Basically you have less melanin in your hair fiber, which is the stuff that makes your skin the color it is, the stuff that makes your hair the color it is, and so on. So once you lose that, you no longer have colored hair. It actually turns a different color, which is kind of a beautiful process if you really think about it. I mean, really, it shouldn't be something we're ashamed of. It's quite miraculous that our hair can just change colors. And it's one of the things about the human body that is just like, what? Like, <laughs> it's right up there with like women having babies. Like, how does that happen? How does your hair turn clear? Somebody explain this stuff to me. It's mind blowing, okay? Also, a very interesting fact. You may or may not know that hydrogen peroxide is the way we lift hair. That is how you get from a darker color to a lighter color. We use hydrogen peroxide. That lifts the pigment out of the hair. Actually, hydrogen peroxide naturally occurs and our hair follicle. And as we get older, it builds up and actually can block the production of melanin, therefore losing that pigment in your hair follicle. So weird. Okay. Let's now go over some of the things that cause gray hair. Aging is gonna be your worst nightmare <laughs> when it comes to having clear hair. No, I'll call it gray hair, just not confuse people today, but clear hair is the same thing as gray hair. So if I interchange the both of them in this video, I just mean gray hair, but it's not really gray. It's clear. About 50% of the population over the age of 50 has about 50% gray hair on their head. Half of it is gray, half of it is their color they usually have before they turn gray. That's kind of wild. Um, so basically at age 50, you're gonna really have a lot going on with that gray hair. Not everybody, but most people. Also, besides gray hair, your hair also changes in texture as you get older. It typically gets more coarse as you age. Your ethnicity and natural 
hair color could also be a deciding factor in if you're gonna go gray sooner or later. White people, Caucasians, tend to go gray the fastest out of all of the different races on this planet. All you Caucasians out there, you're gonna go gray. And also, apparently redheads are the fastest to go gray out of all people on the planet. So my very small population of natural redheads watching, I'm so sorry. So after Caucasian people goes Asians and then African-Americans. So if you are not white, you probably have a better chance of not going gray. Congratulations, I am jealous. Actually, I'm not that scared of going gray. I'd rather not. And maybe I would, I would look good as a silver fox daddy, you know what I mean? So aging and ethnicity are two of the biggest culprits in why your hair turns clear or gray. And now there are several other reasons, but why don't we just go through some myths? And if they are true, let me explain how that can affect you going gray. So the main question that I was asked uh, if this myth is true or not was if you pull out one piece of gray hair, more will grow back in its place. Do you think that this is true or false? I'll give you a second. False, man. What? That doesn't even logistically, scientifically make sense. That one I got so much. Honestly, have no idea who made that up or what they were on when they made it up. No, you can't physically make a difference in how your cells operate through pulling a hair fiber out of your head. That's not how cells work. They act on nutrition and stress and hormones, not pulling a piece of hair out of your head. Unless pulling the piece of hair out of your head did cause you stress, maybe more will come back, but no. So the next myth I want to debunk is that stress plays a huge role in you going gray. Do you think that's true or do you think that is false? True or false? True ish. Basically, stress is your worst nightmare. So stop being stressed. Go do yoga, go meditate, go do something that makes you happy and get unstressed because it really ruins you in all different kinds of way. Not just getting gray hair, it ruins your skin, it ruins your life, and it ruins your hair. Get unstressed, go get a massage if you are. I don't know, do something that makes you happy. Yes, yeah, stress can cause an imbalance of hormones in your body, causing your cells to react, causing a loss of pigment in your hair, causing all kinds of damage to your body. So yes, stress can cause gray hair. However, I wouldn't say it is the biggest factor of you going gray. It can make you go gray a little bit faster, but I wouldn't say it's the full on reason why you're turning gray. However, just don't be stressed. I'm still learning how to be not stressed, not succeeding. Now, the next myth we're gonna go over is your hair, it doesn't turn gray, it grows that way. Do you think that's true or do you think that's false? Do you think it actually changes color? Or do you think it grows out of your scalp all as one color? True or false? That is true. It will grow out of your scalp a different color than it was before. It will not all of a sudden magically turn a different color all of a sudden, okay? You have to actually lose that entire hair fiber and when your cells regenerate a new one, that is when it kind of loses its momentum and stops putting as much melanin in your hair, causing it to be clear. So save your damn hair fibers, okay? Don't let them fall out. However, you do lose about 50 to 100 hair strands every day. So good luck trying to save them from growing back gray. Okay, moving on. Gray hair is more coarse than colored hair. Is that true or is that false? I'll give you a second there. This one's a weird one. False. And I actually learned that while doing the research for this video. I always thought gray hair was more coarse, more difficult to work with. I, I mean, it is, but not because it's co more coarse, actually. Gray hair is actually finer than colored pigmented hair. One of the factors of this could be because your scalp gets drier as you get older, therefore making your hair fibers drier and they're not as silky and as soft as they once were, making it feel a bit more coarse. Also, another factor could be because people love to pull out their damn gray hairs and you shouldn't do that because guess what? Usually they grow back differently and they grow back more coily and they grow back uglier. So stop pulling out your gray hair unless you want a full head of crinkly coiled nasty gray hair. I don't want that for you. And next, gray hair is resistant to hair color. True or false? Boom. 
It's true. Gray hair is sometimes a hairstylist's worst nightmare. You typically need extra coverage when covering gray hair, as hairstylists call it a double natural NN, usually is applied to the hair in order to fully repigment the entire hair follicle. You need to refill the hair with all the underlying pigments and then deposit the tone on top in order to get a fully beautiful, rich looking color on your head if you have gray hair. Sometimes people have extremely tough gray hair. Honestly, I've seen people who get full coverage color and somehow it still doesn't cover their gray hairs. It is so stubborn, it needs to go under heat, it needs to be processed for longer, it needs double the amount of color, it needs a demi-permanent color over the permanent color in order to fully cover those gray hairs. And listen, that's just a lot of work, okay? It is much more difficult to color gray hair than it is natural pigmented hair fibers. Your diet can seriously affect you going gray. Is that true or is that false? True! Listen, your diet affects basically who you are and how you feel and how you live. You are what you eat. I'm sure you've heard that one before. It is so true. I am a big believer in you are what you eat. It makes sense. You, whatever you put in your body is who you are and how your cells operate is through the nutrients you give it. Without food, you wouldn't be living. Um, with the right food, you'll be living better. With the wrong food, you'll be living worse, you know? Actually, loss of B12 vitamins is a serious contributor to going gray. So eating foods with B12 in them can actually slow down the process of going gray and losing pigment, along with helping cure heart disease, cancers, and other ailments. Eat well, stay hydrated, do some fitness, and you'll feel great and you will look great, basically is what I'm trying to get at. So now that I have went over all of the myths and facts, about gray hair. Let's now go over how you can treat your gray hair. There are several different options on what you can do to treat your gray hair, all right? Why don't we just go over my favorite first, which is highlights. Most people with gray hair don't have a full head of it. It is very uneven. It is a lot in the front, a lot up here, none back here. Hair turns gray faster and slower in different parts of your scalp. I like to try and even out the entire graying process with some really beautiful very, very tiny highlights to give the effect like you are graying all over beautifully and it's more like just highlights. You can throw in a single process color with some foil highlights and you will get a beautiful blend of your natural gray hairs and your natural pigmented hair and a full on different color. However, it will not be as much upkeep as doing a full on single process, double natural, full gray coverage, retouch, single process color. Why don't we just talk about that too? I don't like single process colors, full on all over one color. I don't know who is a big fan of it. If you're a hair cells out there, listen, honestly, it's easy money for us. You just walk in the salon, we quickly apply it and our assistant does the rest. It doesn't look good. And the reason why I say it doesn't look good and the reason why I actually try and transition a lot of people out of doing a full on single process over their gray hair to cover it is because no matter what, typically it always looks too pink Pigmented. When you're filling gray hair, you need to refill the hair fiber with all its missing pigments. And typically you're never gonna get that natural looking hair color unless it really is natural. When you're putting such a pigmented color over gray hair, it tends to look heavy and dark, light absorbent, and it never really has like that vibrancy that real natural pigmented hair has. And that is why I like to throw in those highlights and throw in dimension. That way we're not trying to combat the gray, we're trying to work with the gray. That is what it's all about, is working with the gray and not against it. So highlights are gonna be your friend, work in some highlights, you can still do a single process coverage color, work in some highlights, you'll be all set, it'll look beautiful. Also, if you are used to doing a single process all over one color, maybe another option for you will be to not do a full coverage single process, do a partial coverage single process. My mom, I love to do that with her because she has about 50% gray hair on her head. And when we do a single process color at a level seven, which if you're not a hairstylist is uh, like a dark blonde. If we do a partial coverage single process, she ends up with a little bit of pigment in her gray hair, her natural hair color colored. So when you layer those two on top of each other, she gets little flecks 
a beautiful silver highlight, but it's not as in your face as it was before, but it really gives her a lot of dimension and a lot of shine, and it's just so beautiful. I am obsessed with doing partial coverage, single process, on people with gray hair because it gives you that beautiful glisten of highlights and keeps you looking young and fresh, but not like you're trying too hard to be young and fresh because also that's not a good look. You know, you can really always tell when somebody like is really grasping onto their youth when they're like doing the darkest single process color possible and you're like, that doesn't look good. Your other option also is to just let your hair be gray, especially for people who have beautiful distribution of gray hair on their head. It is perfectly distributed. There's no spots of extreme gray anywhere. You can work with it. I mean, like live your gray life. It is very trendy right now to be gray. Do it while you can. I have no problem with gray hair. I think it's beautiful on a lot of women and a lot of men. And it's a beautiful sign of aging. And honestly, you're not going to be young forever, which is a little scary to me. I think it does look beautiful on other people. I've actually followed a bunch of hairstylists on Instagram who do gray hair for a living and they do a beautiful job at transitioning people from a dark single process to their natural gray hair color and blending in their roots to their entire head. I'll insert some pictures here. It is so cool to me um, and it's such an, a beautiful art and I see a lot of women, you know, doing the gray hair thing now. I feel a lot of people are more comfortable with it for some reason and the more we talk about it, the more comfortable people will be about it. I think it's really awesome and if you do have a single process color, and you want to just embrace that gray, there's an option out there for you. Just go to the right hairdresser who specializes in that. I think it will look wonderful. And lastly, you can use a purple shampoo. If you don't want to go to the salon, you already have gray hair, you want to embrace it, but you want to make it the best possible gray hair you can, grab a purple shampoo. I like Fanola. They have a great purple shampoo. It's awesome for toning hair. I use it on my hair every once in a while to make sure it stays nice and white. It's great for gray hair. Get that yellow out of it because what happens with gray hair pollution from the outside world if you're living in a city you have a lot of that so if you're living in a city you probably have some yellow gray hair and it's probably a little nasty my hair turns yellow also from the pollution outside that is why i need to keep on toning it and keep on taking care of it or else it turns really nasty yellow which is just gross so it actually does also happen with lighter hair and gray hair it will turn yellow do some clarifying treatments use a malibu clarifying treatment you can find them in a lot of places just google it do that that every once in a while, once a month, once every two weeks, clarify your hair and use a purple shampoo and you will get that perfect sparkling, shiny, white, beautiful silver hair that we sometimes see on the streets and you're like, <laughs> How did you do that? That's probably how they did it. Or you can go into a salon and get what's called a glaze or a toner put on your head that will just remove those yellow tones in your hair and won't permanently color your hair and will wash away within several washes. Those are some of the options to dealing with gray hair, living with it, not living with it, fixing it, whatever you wanna do with it. I happen to really like gray hair and I think it's beautiful on a lot of people and I think embracing it is really fun. Whatever makes you happy, go for it. That is all I have for you today. I hope you learned some things about about gray hair. It's a very interesting topic and I hope you enjoyed listening to me blabber on about it today. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, BrahmandoMIC. Don't forget to follow Xmondo Hair on Instagram. We have a new product launches coming up November 22nd and I am so excited about it. Cure that winter dry hair with these beautiful magical products of mine. I am so excited for you guys to get your hands on it and thank you for so much of the support since I've launched my hair care brand. I am so beyond grateful for each and every one of you that watches my videos and supports me. Thank you so much. You're an amazing person and I love you. And that is all for today. Don't forget to live your extra gray haired life <laughs> or not. And I will see you next time. Bye.